Hey, comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy. And today, guys, we're talking about Mockingbird issue number one. That's right, fans. Uh, Bobby Morse, lover, lover and agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, I was hoping that they would come out with a book, and they finally did. And as far as I know, it looks like that this book is going to be a five-issue miniseries. It's not an ongoing. But nevertheless, this story was quite interesting when I read it. Uh, the book is written by um, Chelsea Kane, and the artist is done by Kate Nemezik or Nemezikic or whatever you say. Uh, but nevertheless, the artwork is really well done. Uh, it's cool because you get to see different types of superheroes in like a waiting room in a doctor's office. Even the introduction to the book is really well done as they give you a little bio of um, of Bobby and uh, her symptoms and things that she's going through. She has a patient chart uh, in here, which is really nice. And uh, I just I love the facial expression, especially right here with Bobby. Uh, you see the the little glistening in her eyes, and uh, she's got like rainbow socks, and uh, I just love all that little stuff in here. And um, uh, you know, here again as she's giving a wink. Uh, so I, I like the way the artwork is done. It's it's nice and detailed, but it's it's simplistic in its own way. Uh, yeah, really cool book. Uh, so. Uh, what did I think of this story and what was the story about? Well, this was something that I totally was not expecting the way they laid this out on the table for you. When you look on the cover, you see Bobby and in the background, you see a whole bunch of action and adventure and you're like, oh yeah, she's going to go on this adventure because she's like this spy and she works for S.H.I.E.L.D. and, and all that stuff. And, and, and it's not that at all, man. It's uh, You see her in this uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. medical clinic. And uh, she's walking down the halls. It's like 10 stories beneath the ground or whatnot. She breaks in the door. She throws open this, you know, breaks open this glass. And the next thing you wind up finding out is she's like uh, fighting like these uh, these old wrinkly ghost-like zombie people. And you're like, okay. And so what happens now, it flashes back to a month earlier. So the key thing is about this book is you have Bobby who's doing the narration in the book and she's talking about how her life was saved and uh, they had to – they received an experimental treatment that was compressed of uh, uh, super soldier serum and infinity formula. So ever since she got injected with this, they've been doing weekly studies on her uh, because they're expecting side effects or symptoms or something to happen. And each week she goes, she goes into the office and you see different heroes getting ready to see the doctor. Like Howard the Duck is in there. Hercules is in there one week. In fact, he's there every single week. Tony Stark is in there as well. And you get to see a uh, little music in the, uh, uh, in the actual doctor's office. And the one is like, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. So it's just like all those little lyrics in there. And each week you see that the doctors do these experiments. And each week that she goes, uh, she develops a little more uh, paranoia. Uh, she's able to eliminate uh, ping pong balls off the table. Uh, so she she develops some psychic movements or whatnot. You get to see her pee in a cup over and over again. They take vials of blood of her. There's people waiting in the background watching her studies and whatnot. And so it, it just – it's constantly – she constantly is developing more and more symptoms, side effects of what's going on here. Uh, and, and again, the next week she goes to the office. She wears this uh, this crazy suit because she's in, uh, doing this undercover mission. Hercules is there again. Black Widow is there. And then this time the music is like, want to know what love is? I want you to show me. So they, they got that in now. And then, and then so the music is still pleasant. But by the time you wind up getting to the end of this issue, she goes into the office and Hercules is there again. You got uh, uh, Jessica Jones is there uh, with Luke Cage and the baby. And, and then it's playing Smashing Pumpkins and it's just like, despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. So you can see now that the, the paranoia level is super 
way up there. Uh, things are going crazy. She, you can see that just her paranoia levels are up to the charts. And she starts seeing shit, and then it just goes up to this this crazy point where she just sees all these wrinkly zombie guys, and uh, she knows that there's people behind the glass, and and just things are all weird. And when you read this book, it just like it doesn't really make sense. Like, how did she, you know, die in the first place? Why did they use this serum? Uh, like, what what's going on? And so when you read the back of the book, uh, they explain that. Uh, you're going to see more episodic events that happen throughout the series and that you're going to want to read this first issue again when you're done with issue five. Uh, so I'm really interested to see where this book goes. It's something I totally didn't expect. I was expecting again like this adventure book, but it just totally threw me for a loop and I loved it. I loved how her symptoms kept on increasing, how it's a mystery that we don't know exactly what happened to her and how, what she's seeing and what she's going through. It's just a really good book and the artwork is great and I love it. Um, five out of five stars for me. I really enjoyed this book. It took me by surprise and I love when books like this. And when I read in the back and I heard that this was only a five issue book, I was like, man, really? Because I I would like to see different types of adventures here. Uh, but I love Bobby. I love the, her character in here. And she starts off normal and sweet. And then she just is always on edge at the end. I love it. So can't wait to see where this one goes. Uh, interesting book. But if you guys were on the fence about buying this one, give it a try. I think you really like it. It's something different. So five out of five stars from me. It is $3.99. And fans, leave me the comments below and tell me what you thought of Mockingbird issue number one. And fans, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. Until that next comic book review, check out Comic Book Corner Old School. Check out Comic Frontline. And this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Take care, fans. Bye.